as someone who has very large pores over the years, you know, I felt like I was doing something wrong. Why can't I get that smooth skin that I see? Now, there obviously is a lot of things that go into these videos, from filter to bright lighting, which I have right now in front of me, that makes the skin appear much different than it would in real life. On Instagram, you obviously have Facetune, like, it's hard to tell the real texture of someone's skin. I do not like primers, they're not something that I use. Um, Every primer that I've tried to put all over my face has broken me out in cystic acne, so I steer clear. But I have found one recently that I kind of like. Some days I feel like it smooths, some days I just... I feel like it's just a step that's not really that necessary. So in today's video, I'm going to be putting the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer to the test. What I like about this primer is that it has rose hip and argan oil in it, which are soothing apparently, and this doesn't have fragrance and does not seem to break me out. I don't put it all over my face, I just focus it on my nose and around here because I do have very large pores here, which you will see later once the lighting gets bad and we get uncomfortably close to my face. I've had this for probably a month and I haven't really noticed any breakouts on my nose that are anything out of the ordinary, so I think that as far as primers go, I like it. And I've tried Porefessional, which broke me out because it has a scent to it. I've tried, um, I've tried that Becca one that was just like insanely drying and it made your skin look worse, <laughs> but it was supposed to be for, to keep you matte. Um, I've tried like some of those classic Smashbox primers. I've tried some stuff from the drugstore and nothing has been like, nothing has been good enough to actually make it into my routine as something that I would want to reach for every day. But I do use this one quite often, so we're going to put it to the test today. It is my favorite, but some I just don't think it really does much. Um, so yeah, if you have large pores, you, you want to stay tuned. Or you know what, you can give me some of your tips and tricks on how to make your pores look better. Because I feel like mine look especially bad when I'm wearing liquid foundation, which is what I did today. So, yeah, you're, you're gonna see them. They're there. All right, let's just uh, start embarrassing me, okay? Let's do it, let's, let's, let's get close, up close and personal to this mug. I hate watching videos where I can't really see a product working or somebody talks about how bad something looks on their face and it just, it doesn't look bad from what you can personally see. So I want to get up close and personal so you can see how this kind of helps fill in the pores. So uh, let's mess around with this and see what we can do, okay? I'm gonna switch you to autofocus, I think. Alright, so I think this is a much better representation. So uh, let's, let's see if we can get even closer at this nose. This is closer than uh, anyone ever wants to be, <laughs> but you can actually see that there are pores there. And I do have a decent amount like on my forehead too, but I don't worry about covering that so much. And you can see like some fine lines that I have right there. So we're gonna put on the Optical Illusion Primer and see what it does. Now this is a very thick primer. You only need to pump out a little bit, and this is actually the smaller size that they sell at Sephora. And it lasts me such a long time so far. Now with this primer, I like to just pat it in rather than swipe it. When I look at it, I can still definitely see pores, but these ones just look much more pronounced. And what I really like about this is that it doesn't break me out. I feel like it has a very similar texture to the Benefit Professional. But back in the day when I used that, because it had fragrance in it, my whole nose broke out with like little red bumps all over it. So I'm going to put some foundation over this side and this side and we'll see if it makes a difference. And I'll do my normal um, powder routine as well and I'll be back, okay? Alright guys, so I finished my makeup and I gotta say, I don't think I see a difference. I really don't. Uh, let's get closer up. You guys tell me 
does one side look better than the other? Now remember, this is the side that has primer on it. Alright, so I'm just going to continue through my day and we'll see if having the primer on this side actually makes any difference. Does it help it hold up longer? Because right now I'm feeling like I don't, I don't really see a difference in my pores. Maybe a little bit like right here, but the big ones, are, they're, they're still there. They're there. Alright, uh, I will see you in a few hours but like only a few minutes not no, no not even minutes just like it'll just be like we're at the next clip okay okay alright we're currently about three hours in and I'm just cooking my dinner some lentil pasta oh yeah some nice vegetarian meal let's see if we can get um, an update on the face this side has no primer This side has primer. I really... I don't know. Alright, that is the update. I will check back in um, when the makeup starts looking even worse on my face. <laughs> because it certainly will, knowing my face and my skin. I haven't cooked myself a real meal in a long time, so I am super excited to eat. And that's what I'm gonna do. So I will check back in in a few hours and maybe like after I've blotted because I haven't blotted yet which is actually pretty good for my skin all right I'll see you soon all right I'm back and I believe we are about seven hours in which I think is a good amount of time to be able to kind of like you know distinguish like whether or not you like something distinguish no let me use determine to determine whether or not you like something put the primer on this side Honestly, I can't tell. I do look really oily because this is not the most mattifying foundation and it's not like, yeah, it's not like one of those super matte long wearing ones. The foundation is not breaking up on my nose that much. I kind of like scratched my nose here so it's really red because it was getting dry and flaky and I started like picking off the flakes, which was not a good idea. But in terms of whether the primer made it look better, I can't tell. <laughs> I really can't tell. Let's blot and then we'll see if that makes a difference and whether maybe this side will hold up better to that than the one that doesn't have primer. We'll, we'll see. Alright, so I blotted, I also got closer, and the lighting also got worse, so let's see if you can spot the difference in my pores. This is about seven hours of wear. I feel like my under eyes look really bad right now, but that's, we're not focusing on the under eyes. I'm, that's something else I'm dealing with, is how to not get all creasy under there, because I feel like as I age, it just becomes more of a problem. But anyway, back to the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. Did it create any optical illusions? Prime. Did not prime. What do you think? Because I don't see a difference. Alright, so my final thoughts on the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. I like it because I think it has good ingredients. It doesn't make my skin worse and it doesn't break me out. I think I'm just gonna have to figure out how I want to apply it and maybe I have to be realistic. I think I might just have to accept that I have large pores and any primer is not really gonna cover them the way that I would want them to. You can't make that kind of stuff just vanish off your face. So I would recommend this one. I like it because it doesn't cause any skin problems and I think it has good ingredients. And I think if you get the small size, it's a it's a decent deal because I think this was about $20 Canadian for the mini 
and you really do not need that much product at all. Um, so I think it would last you a very long time. All right, thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry that my skin is gross, and I'm sorry that you had to look at it, but I wanted this to be realistic in showing you what a product can actually do. I don't wanna just sit back here and pretend that I have perfect skin, because that's not gonna help anybody out, right? Leave me a comment down below telling me your favorite primer, and maybe I will check it out, or any kind of tips or tricks you have for large pores because I am always trying to uh, help myself out a bit in that department. I also think that generally we should just be more accepting of some of the stuff that's, you know, going on with our skin. It's not necessary to always cover everything and make everything perfect and smooth and flawless. Like it is skin after all. Alright, thank you for checking out this video. I want you to remember, don't just make up your face, make up your mind too, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.